Welcome to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We are Megan and Matt. We are on a million mile travel journey and this is our first time exploring Mexico together. In this video, we're gonna be sharing with you what life is like outside the resort in Puerto Vallarta. First things first, we're getting coffee to start our day. We're at Capitolito, which is just around the corner from our Airbnb. We were here the other day and they have some really good coffee. Cheers. I just dumped half my coffee on myself doing that. Oh gosh. That's, <laughs> that's why I choose to only wear dark colors when I travel. Mm. I got a frappe. Matt got an iced Americano. Tastes as good as it feels. <laughs> Welcome to Puerto Vallarta. We are Megan and Matt and we are on a million mile travel journey. We are on a million mile travel journey and we are in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We sometimes travel in a van, sometimes we don't, and this time we don't have the van. But this is our last day in Puerto Vallarta, so we're gonna show you around the old town before we head home to the van. We're heading back to the Airbnb. If you guys watched our last video, we weren't super impressed, but we love it, we love it. This is the living space. This is where we do most of our work. Here is the kitchen. It's nice and open. Don't judge us for not keeping it neat. We clean up right before we check out. The bathroom. Do you want to see how the bathroom floods every time we shower? The bathroom floods every time we shower, so we've been showering sparingly, which is fine because we live in a van. We're used to it. <laughs> I had to change into sneakers because we're going to be walking on cobblestone streets, and hopefully we can put a lot of miles onto our million mile journey, and I look like a mom right now. and we're gonna be getting chilaquiles. If you've never heard of it, it is my absolute favorite Mexican breakfast. It's basically tortillas with either eggs or chicken and a red or green sauce. Definitely would recommend you trying it out. Uh, por favor, chilaquiles rojo uh, sencillos. So one thing to note when you're in Puerto Vallarta is a lot of people do speak English, so just because they see us, they immediately talk to us in English. I've been trying to practice my Spanish and sometimes they talk back to me, sometimes they just talk back to me in English. I think that's probably easier for everyone, but I still practice. Now we can eat. Cheers, Megan. Cheers. Still I'm not going to spill it on myself this time. I do have to say, Mexican coffee is quite delicious. I got a quesadilla. Quesadillas. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I got a grilled quesadilla and a shrimp quesadilla. Adreso. And that's the all right, I got the chilaquiles sencillo. This is just chilaquiles, no meat, no eggs, nothing. Just the tortillas, the beans, the cheese, the crema, onions, cilantro. It's kind of like breakfast nachos. Chili oil, which your girl loves. Mm. That's some of the best food we've had so far. And we've eaten out every single day. Wow, this is so good. This is a family owned business. The grandma squeezes the juice and it is freaking delicious. We got two iced coffees, two quesadillas, one chili quesadillas, and one fresh squeezed orange juice. So breakfast came out to 350 pesos, which is roughly $17.50 before and 10. All right, we are well fed and ready for the next adventure. the town you're kind of just crossing the street at your own risk there's no signs that wait you kind of just have to see a break and go sometimes there's not for a little while you're just kind of standing there sometimes people will let you go just go for it it's high noon so it's quite hot out right now when it's high noon you find shade and you stay in it because it can get really hot even though it's winter it's super hot still so we found a little flea market and we're just gonna go shop around I guess
here they have lots of shops. This is the called the area natural, which is like the nature area. And over there where we just were is the area where they've got all sorts of shops and little markets and trinkets and stuff. This is a spot if you want to get a gift for somebody back at home, it's a great spot to get a gift. They're singing birds. This part of Puerto Vallarta is called Isla Quale and it's a little island in between these two parts of the city connected by a bridge. If you want to learn how to say it's hot in Spanish, hace calor. Hace calor. If you've never traveled to like a tropical humid area before, Vietnam is another place, it gets really hot around noon and everyone goes inside. Luckily we brought some water. What tree is this baby? It's like shaven and it's red. I have no idea. Alright, even though it's hot, we do only- ah! What was that? It was a leaf! <laughs> I screamed like there was a bug on me! This tree right here is really cool looking. It's called the Pape Lilo, which is a paper bark tree. And they call it the gringo tree because when it gets in the sun for a long time, it gets red and starts to peel like a white person. <laughs> I just learned that. That's really funny. That is the most hilarious thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> wow, it is a very cool tree though. Papilido, kind of like a paper bark maple, which is another tree from the US. I used to work in trees. I know a lot about trees, but I don't know anything about Mexican trees. Birds that we're seeing with the black feathers and the yellow eyes are called sonsonatas. There's other ones called carpenteros, which are like woodpeckers. And there's one other one that I didn't quite catch the name of, but they're really big and they go like no, 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 no. So we haven't seen one of those, but when we do see them, I'll know what it is. Hopefully. Iguanas are? come He's gonna show us where the iguanas are. In Alawa? Uh -huh. Oh, there he is! Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> They're so fast! We didn't even see him! Yeah, no. Wow. That's cool. Wow, they're huge. It's really cool. I've never seen a wild iguana before. This is insane. Wow, they're huge. You got him? Anda la ardilla. Oh, los aves viven in. Adentro. Ah, okay. Y allá anda la ardilla, mira. Oh, I see it, yeah. Una ardillita, mira. Allá anda arriba comiendo. ¿Es iguana? No, es una ardilla. Ardilla. Hay una bien grandota, ahí los por aquí. Cool. Ah, gracias. Gracias. Much yeah, me llamo Matt. Lopez. Megan. Mucho gusto. Ma Maggie? Megan. 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 Yeah. yeah. Tú? Matt. Mateo. Mateo. We just got a whole wildlife tour from our homie Lopez. He showed us iguanas. He showed us different types of birds. He showed us where they live. He showed us this thing. I forgot the name, but it's kind of like a squirrel. What, do you remember what he said? Ardilla. Ardilla. But it's like a, a Mexican squirrel that lives there. He showed us the nest of one of the birds where they lay their eggs. I thought he was talking about their balls, but he was talking about where they lay their eggs. <laughs> so it's cool. And I'm super stoked that we just met somebody who's super nice. So wow. gracias, Lopez. If you find our channel, we appreciate you. That's so exciting. We haven't seen an iguana yet. And everyone's like, they're huge. They're everywhere. But they camouflage. So we, we haven't really been looking for them. Wow. That's incredible. We're here in December and this is their cold season so you see all the people who live here wearing like long sleeves and pants and stuff. I could not imagine wearing jeans in this weather. It is quite hot. I've lost my, um, my tolerance for heat when we were in Alaska this summer and this is the first time we've had like warm weather in a long time so my body's not used to it. I need more water. Oh and just cool down. I've got a lot of fans just like in my direction. <laughs> Weeks leading up to this trip, I was listening to only Spanish music, watching everything with Spanish subtitles, 
and doing everything I can to learn and listen and hear Spanish, and I'd say I've come a long way. And I prepared by buying new bathing suits. Megan is the real winner here. Don't worry guys, I'm not useless. I'm working on other languages for us because we're gonna be going to a lot of countries next year. <laughs> this is the hibiscus or jaimeca. Ooh, that's very refreshing on a hot day like this. I think a lemonade's gonna do the trick. I already feel recharged. We are at the Malecon in Puerto Vallarta, which is like a big boardwalk of lots of different shops and types of restaurants and all sorts of eateries and gooderies and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna keep exploring this area. It's right on the beach, so if you're really hot like us, you could go right to the playa and you could do things like parasailing for really cheap. It seems like a lot of fun. We're probably gonna pass because we are trying to save some money and spend it only on food, and we're gonna keep it moving on to the next thing. This church behind me is the Church of the Lady Guadalupe, which is a very prominent figure in Mexican history. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that Mexico really puts a lot of emphasis on their religious figures. The Lady Guadalupe is one of them. To get out of the heat, we just grabbed a table at El Campanario, right next to the cathedral. This fan feels real nice. So today's lunch special includes soup of the day, which we don't know what it is yet, and then our choice of meat and a drink. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Qué es el especial? Hoy es espinazo, eh, guiso verde con champiñón. Ok. Perdón, rojo, eh. eh y o bistec, ¿Ah? eh, guiso verde con calabaza. Ok. So, shrimp and mushrooms or steak with something I didn't understand. I don't have the special. Ok. All right, so up first is tortilla soup, which I have never had before, but if you've ever seen the movie, it is a movie, and I remember watching it in Spanish class in I think seventh or eighth grade. So this is really bringing me back to the good old days. Mm. That's delicious. On a hot day, my comfort meal is soup. If you know, you know. So much flavor. This looks really fresh. We've got some rice, we've got some ensalada, got some beans and some cheese and then I think Matt ordered me like a veggie platter which I'm not too sad about because we've been eating a lot of meat in Mexico. Mm. Do you want to mix and match so I get some veggies you get yeah. some steak? This is what's great about eating with your partner. You order two things and share. You already ate that much meat already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's kind of crazy to think that this entire meal came out to 190 pesos. We just spent 185 pesos on two drinks. And two of those were bottles of water. This is the kind of experience that you can expect outside of the resorts and outside of the touristy areas and going into the other restaurants where they don't really speak English and they don't really cater to tourists. It's kind of a locals eat here kind of thing. Find a good, good lunch meal with delicious healthy food, trying some authentic Mexican food is a great way to travel in Puerto Vallarta. We're gonna keep exploring. There's some cool art murals around the city that I wanna to try to find. We're gonna go take you along with us. There's one thing that I love about being in cities is checking out all the street art that's everywhere and Puerto Vallarta is no exception. We've seen a lot of really cool murals painted everywhere by local artists and it's a really cool way to see the colors and everything pops in such a city and honestly Puerto Vallarta is probably one of the most colorful cities I've ever been to. Every corner on this neighborhood is full of a different mural painted by a local artist and they're all pretty political. Well, it is officially too hot for me. I think I gotta go home, sit in the AC and then we can come back out for dinner. Hey baby, I hope you feel better. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. Alright, Megan is wiped and honestly I don't blame her. The Mexican son is no joke at all. Megan doesn't speak any Spanish at all so I wanted to make sure that she got home safe and it was okay and so she's gonna rest and hopefully join me later for dinner and I'm gonna go take you guys out and continue where we left off.
know a lot of people are kind of sketched out about coming to Mexico in terms of safety, but honestly, I've felt more safe in Puerto Vallarta than I have in other places. People probably say, oh, you know, put the camera away, blah, 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 blah. But we vlog everywhere in the United States. Every single state that we've been to, we've vlogged. We've been in San Francisco, we've been to New York City. Honestly, some of those states are way sketchier than where we are now. Absolutely beautiful here. Everybody we've met has been incredibly kind and very welcoming. We love it here. We will definitely be back. There's a reason that people pay a lot more for the resorts than they do an Airbnb and just kind of go to the public beaches here. The beaches here are nice, but they're way more populated. There's a lot more people. And we kind of just get a different experience, which is what we look for in traveling. Not to say that we're opposed to doing resorts, because I do think that they're awesome and they do have their time and place, but we'd rather do this kind of Airbnb local experience. Puerto Vallarta really has something for everybody. Whether you want to just come here and be a tourist and do all the touristy things, they got that. If you want the local experience, they got that as well. No matter how you choose to spend your time here, I definitely recommend coming here in general. It's a beautiful spot, very affordable to travel to. Flights are relatively inexpensive. So that's pretty cool. There's a local organization that has a hatchery for sea turtles here. And what they do is they hatch the turtles and then once they're about three hours old, like these ones, they just set them loose and it's their way to get into the ocean. I think that's a win for nature there. I think that's enough excitement for one afternoon. I'm gonna head back to the apartment now. Hopefully Megan's hungry because I'm hungry. Just stop for some dinner. So I'll check you back there. <sighs> All right, baby. Hola. Hola. How are you feeling? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Guess what I saw? What? Sea turtles. No! Yeah. Big ones, small ones, big Little ones? Little baby ones going into the ocean. <gasps> so they hatch them here. Uh-huh. And, and then, then they just throw them in like a big bucket, and then they bring them to the beach, and they hand them out to people to put on the ground to put into the ocean. So they're like three hours old. Yeah. I'm so sad. I miss the turtles. <laughs> they're cute. We finally made it. Look at all the beautiful lights. We're going to have some dinner at Alapalapa. A la palapa? A la palapa? La palapa. La palapa. This is definitely a really nice restaurant we're at and feeling a little <laughs> touch out of place. But it's okay. Because it's just okay. Well, we already ordered the margaritas, so it's no going back now. Did I say margaritas? <laughs> So you probably don't know this, but I'm barefoot right now. My feet are in the sand. We've been eating tacos that cost less than $2 a piece, and now we're all of a sudden spending what we've eaten in entire days in one dinner. Which still is much cheaper than eating in America, but this is somewhat probably closer to what we pay prices for it at a medium-ish restaurant in the US. To Mexico. Yum, that's good. If I'm being completely honest, this is not exactly the non-resort experience that I was kind of going for. Even though I'm in my fancy shorts, I definitely feel out of place. At least we're eating and drinking right on the beach. I mean, you can't beat that. And live music. We got the lapa lapa shrimp and we got the mushroom risotto. What is this thing? Oh, risotto. I've never been so excited about eating a carrot in my life. Like Megan said, we've been eating a ton of tacos and just meat this entire trip, so it's kind of nice to have a meal that's a little something different. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Wow, I've never eaten so fancy in my life. This mushroom risotto is fantastic. We're gonna have dinner and then we'll catch you back in the van because... In the van. 
<laughs> I'm just so used to saying that. The next time you see us, we will be back in the van. So we'll catch you there. Make sure you subscribe, like this video if you liked it. We'll see you in the van. We are here to get my favorite Mexican dessert, flan. It's perfect, though. Thank you. YouTuber, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Canal? Welcome to YouTube. Canal? Yeah, our channel, Megan and Matt. Quieres decir hola? Hola. hola. <laughs> Adios, gracias. Gracias. <laughs> All right, let's go home and eat some flan. Mmm. Mmm.